Hello dear friends, my name is Jitender Bhafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we are going to see how to add a security schemes object into your async API. So for adding the security schemes, we can make use of components. Why will we will make use of components? Because whatever security schemes we define under the components that can be reused across the multiple environments or we can call it as a multiple channels basically so what i will do i will go to component i will search for security schemes under security schemes i will give some name i will say what kind of security is it's a user password then i can press enter then you can define the type so what kind of security is this so basically you can see you have api key you have asymmetric encryption http api key o or two open id connect in this case i will go with user password okay then also you can provide the description this is basically support username and password based authentication so now i want to apply this particular security schema across each environment so i can like in last video we have seen we have defined the servers and under the servers we have defined we have a multiple environment under each environment we are saying what is the broker url what is the description what is the protocol same way we can also tell what is the security supported by that particular environment so you can use the security tag then just press enter and you can go up and just say square bracket like that so let's consider uh, like for production you support username password like for UAT you are supporting OAuth so you can define one more security schema here and you can just uh, apply that security schemes basically under this environment so for different environment you can have a def different security schemes but for now I will use the same one and I will just say user password then I will go to dev environment then I will say security user then i can go back i just put square bracket so basically you can see i have defined my security schemes okay so you can uh, like uh, what you can do so you can search for async studio if you want to see it more clear i will say async api studio on google i will just open this and i will copy this whole thing i will like in when you just like uh, select uh, async API studio it will ask to select the version you can select the latest one and that's just paste it whatever you have copied from design center and here you can see all the servers information like it will give this it this and like it will also provide something called security what kind of security support user slash password then it is giving the information related to UAT so what kind of sub security support for UAT and for dev it's giving so generally what happened like uh, in real world scenario in real use case so your security might in uat and dev environment might, might be a bit lower as compared to production in generally like you will have a username password kind of security in uat and dev environment for production it can be oauth or any other kind of authentication available so it is possible so you can define the multiple security schema and you can apply a different security schema to different environment so that is also possible right so so that is how you can define a security schema within your async api right so i hope you like the video if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching